Ferry Toga, 43728, taking runway 21. We'll be doing a westbound departure, Big Sandy. Speed is alive. Climbing to 10,000. All right, all instruments are looking good. Temperature's normal. It's amazing how this airplane climbs, son. Yeah. All right, 9,000, 1,000 to go. All right, we reached 10,000. All right, guys, so here we are, heading back to Denver. I'd like to welcome all of you to the channel, especially my new folks. I'm uh, getting new people every day subscribing, and I appreciate you guys very much. This is uh, the channel for you if you're into aviation. Pretty soon, maybe. I don't know. I'll just say maybe. It'll be the channel for you, too, if you want to talk about country living and stuff like that, because uh, that's what this trip was for. We're actually looking for a property in the country uh, so we can kind of get away from uh, the city life in Denver from time to time so here's the view right now uh, right now we're flying at uh, 12,000 that's the beauty about this turbo Saratoga as you can climb high yes sir so yes folks so we are there are those guys back there Isabel sleeping sleeping as always I don't know how we'll do it. We may open another channel for this, uh, for the country property. I, I sort of always wanted to do a, uh, like a getaway type of channel where we get away from the city into the country. And then also, uh, you know, we do want to raise chickens. I think you want to raise chickens too, right, son? Yeah. So we went to uh, Dallas in the uh, suburbs. 
and uh, they have an uncle that has a ranch just outside of the city and he's got animals and chickens and they played with the chickens and loved them so they've been wanting me to get chickens but you know in Denver you know they don't let you get chickens uh, you'll have you'll have neighbors complain but uh, but yeah in the country yeah it's a uh, fair game for chickens so I've always wanted to do that People are really great in uh, Kentucky, very friendly. They have the southern hospitality. But I really like that area. When I, uh, when I was raised in Jacksonville, uh, I used to go up to North, North Carolina quite a bit, up into the mountains, and, uh, and I've always liked those hills up there. Very nice. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but Kentucky went through some floodings, some very bad floodings, and we were just north of where some of, some of those bad floodings uh, occurred. Feel bad for those folks down there. They've gone through a lot. Let's change our timer here. I try to do 30 minute intervals on the uh, fuel tanks and then I have a timer here to time it all out. My helper's back there with his sister. So he can't really help me much now. Especially in the, on the radios doing IFR. Javier's really good on the radios now and he works the radios for me. He also flies the uh, airplane. Yep. We have an hour and 57 minutes remaining. And one thing that I'm concerned about is uh, these storms here ahead. So we're going to stop just before these storms here. And uh, I was thinking about deviating to the uh, south and maybe stopping somewhere around here. But I don't want to do that just yet. I think what I want to do is uh, we'll go ahead and land. And once we land, the storms are pretty far away from uh, from Marshall where we're going, our first stop. So what we'll do is, uh, when we land, we'll check the radar. But chances are that we'll probably just maybe even follow another flight plan to another airport. Or we could just deviate to the south of these storms so we can bypass them. But we'll know a little more once we land. We'll see. So what we're going to do, my plan is, once we get to Marshall, which is right there, then we're going to fly to Centennial. Uh, but before we get to Centennial, we're going to make a stop at Lyman. The reason why is because look at this fuel price down here at Lyman. Last I checked, they were at uh, 6 something, but they, they went down to 579. So we're going we're gonna to take advantage of that because over where I'm at, it's actually 714. So. It'll be a good fuel stop. It'll save us uh, some money on some fuel. Since we're heading in that same direction, might as well stop and fill up the tanks. So that's our plan. My big concern is not knowing what how things are going to prevail. Our fuel price is going to continue skyrocketing. It seems like they've sort of calmed down now. And again, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video. My assumption is maybe a month or so from now. So right now it is August 3rd, so I'm not sure when I'll, when I'll post this video. But that's my concern. My concern, my concern is fuel prices. I looked up Lexington, which you can't compare Lexington, a bigger city with a smaller town. But Lexington, Kentucky showed like 30% less expensive than Denver, Colorado. So I would imagine that being in the country is probably more so like, you know, maybe 40% less expensive. And that's that's pretty significant. So uh, if you can make something in the country for yourself, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. So that's what this trip was about, guys. We are cruising back to Denver, but that's one of my dreams and my goal is, you know, to have a, a country lifestyle and fly out there in the country, man, where it's pretty fun and we can have a good old time and relaxation. 
If I said the kids love it, there's no doubt about that. So let's check our oxygen level. I've been hanging uh, around 95 to 94, so that's really good. Four three seven two eight. Contact Kansas City Center. One two seven point four seven. One two seven point four seven. Four three seven two eight. Have a great day. Right now, a lot of things are pretty sketchy. So luckily, you know, we put ourselves in a position where we don't have to struggle. And if uh, the supplies. Uh, if the supply chain breaks down and everything, then you know what? That's what we'll do. So we'll just come over here, grow our crops, raise our chickens, and I don't know, live off eggs and salad. <laughs> right, son? Yep. Depends. Uh, scrambled eggs or boiled? Uh, either one, Mama. Okay. Looks like Isabel's back up. She always takes good naps. I think if people had the opportunity to do what I'm doing, I think they would jump on it and do it. A lot of people are actually actually escaping to these country places. It's hard to get a country home nowadays because everybody's jumping on it. Everybody wants to go to the country. I guess they're tired of the city life. Yeah, I guess it's for good reason. There's a lot of craziness going on, that's for sure. I, you know. Uh, there's some crazy people out there planning our future. I'm just kind of tired of city life myself. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, so here we are on the map and we are passing St. Louis, Missouri. There's the look out of this window. But the good stuff is over here. Here's the city. At the airport, it's just straight ahead over there. Yes, sir. St. Louis, Missouri. Well, we're getting closer to our destination. Have about an hour and three minutes remaining. Let's see how they're doing back there. Isabel still sleeping? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Surrey. There's downtown. Okay, so, uh, well, this time they gave us uh, the descent down to 8,000, so they did this right on time. So what I did is I deployed my speed brakes. Here, let's uh, turn this camera on. So there you go. There are, those are the speed brakes, those uh, red things you see popping out of the wing. And here are the, uh, that's the control for it right here, that little butt there. What I did was I deployed the speed brake so that I could slow down because when you point the nose down on this airplane, uh, on this Saratoga, you point the nose down and it wants to go. So there you go. That's good. That's a good descent right there. And you see the speed picked up a little bit, but we got the speed in check so it didn't go up that much. Easy does it. Ready. All right, we can take the oxygen out now since we are getting to 11,000. Yeah. So there you can see it picked up speed just like that. And we have the speed brake sign, and our power is at uh, 20 inches. And that's how quick this airplane picks up speed. And got my checklist up here. So if you notice, a lot of time I got my checklist here as well, this book here. But I prefer to read it up here. It's just easier for me. So I've got my takeoff and landing checklist. So a lot of times if you don't see me with the book, then it's because of that. Now, normally when I'm landing, I use this because less distraction for me. So this is easier. Uh, but uh, but if I'm taking off, I usually just use my, my book on takeoff because I'm not in a big hurry for taking off. All right, fuel is on the right tank. And that's the one with the fullest, so we'll leave it there. We've got our landing lights on, anti-collision, and landing uh, lights in the wings on as well. Descending down to 3,000. All right, so 268, then 178. Sir, so the 728, clear direct Goxy. Direct Goxy, 43728, thanks, sir. 
All right, we're direct doxing. So we're not in instrument conditions right now, but uh, it'll be good practice. All right, we got our checklist done. The only thing we need is mixture, prop, and the fuel pump. Everything else is on. And then as we get closer to our fix, we'll deploy the flaps and remove the speed brakes. And we don't really have to uh, remove the speed brakes. Uh, you can leave them on if you really want to. They work really well also on turbulence. It gives you better loading on the wing to handle turbulence. And when there's crosswinds, you know, I'll leave them on because uh, it'll plant the airplane down really good and keep the airplane on the runway. So there's good uses for the speed brakes. Not to be confused with spoilers. All right, we've been clear for the approach. Cross Marshall at 3,000, and we're at 3,000 right now. All right, we've got our flight slope coming in. Flight 474, spot 5147. 5147, yeah, 5174. Sheriff, I'll get 728, this will be a full stop. 728, this will be a full stop, yes, sir. Sheriff, I'll get 728. Support cancellation of IFR, this is going to ground Columbia Radio, hands up, I'm super. Advisory is approved, we can go ahead and cancel now. We got the uh, runway in sight, 43728.